Hmm. Capture started. Okay. Hello. I am Steve the Fair, the DM GM of Divas and Dumbasses. These are my players. Hi, I'm Jack. I'm a black dragonborn barbarian. My name is Elda. I am a dwarven rogue. I'm Seth. I'm a tiefling bard. I'm Kit. I am a halfling monk. <laughs> And, like I said before, this is Divas and Dumbasses. As of right now, one of our players, Jeremy, is uh, kind of running late. He will be joining us later, hopefully. Hopefully. But, <clears throat> brief recap of everything that has happened in so far. <clears throat> the main party has basically made their way to Riversdale. And after a nice battle of the bands between Seth and... And Jeremy. Jack blew off some steam outside and got picked up by some guards. Everybody went to sleep. And there seems to be one person who keep following the group, nagging them. So, I'm just going to put it like this. Um, since you were technically both split up into two groups, I'm going to just say roll initiatives. Whoever has the highest out of the two of you will be used against the other. See, I have high dex, so I know that I'm going to roll a two. On initiative, let's see. Jeez. Well, I mean, it's not that bad. It's a seven. Hang on, my thing's being Ooh, stupid. Ooh, so I have a ten. Nice. Give me a second. For those of you that are uh, just tuning in, <coughs> this is our new player, Mr. Thunder. <laughs> oh, look, there's the two. <laughs> Hang on, I just I'm operate the assumption that the dice always hate me. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm sitting up, so I have a plus 10 for the assumption. You want to no, on the bright side is you still lost to somebody that's not even a bard. Into a battle of the bards. <laughs> he didn't even play the violin right. <laughs> he played his but flutolin. He w they were also battling and having a battle of the bards with a audience of drunk people. Yeah. yeah. That weren't but paying attention time, to begin with. At the same time, he still played music with his flutolin, playing the violin wrong by blowing into it, but still played music. <laughs> I don't know how that works. <laughs> It doesn't. That's the point. <laughs> Through a mysterious magical force. <laughs> Call on I need, clearly, I need to boost my uh, performance. It's it's called the ether. It just happens sometimes, you know. I should have put my expertise in. So, Jack, we're waiting on you for your initiative roll here. I'm working on it. Hang on. My app was being stupid, so I had to reload it, and then I had to log back in. Uh. <sighs> Why? Can't you just type into the chat, roll 1d20 or whatever? Aha, get fucked. There we go. I win. <clears throat> now, this is how it's going to work. Jack and Thunder, your group is first. Aha. So thus, we bring them over to <coughs> the newly made map. <clears throat> <laughs> I don't want to make it just that. <clears throat> The prison! Oh! <laughs> dang! That is a nice map. That's that cool. That's pretty, Brandon. Oh, that's a prison I could live in. That is a real... You are living there. Well, I'll watch ever break out from here. Where... If you can. Where did you get these graphics? Everywhere. Well, I mean, I got the change from the stock images. I got... Oh, I got the stairs from the stock images. You're welcome I, for those, by the way. I got the shadows from my heart. And then oh, I got, we know that. Our heart. I got the, I got the other chains and the stock images. Ah, I'm sorry, Brandon, but there's a corner driving me nuts. I, I know all the corners should be driving you nuts. No, the I top did that left. On purpose. The top left corner. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the point. Anyway. Damn it. That's the point. They should all be driving and you it's nuts. And it's not. It, and who's this Brandon person you're speaking of? The DM's name is Steve. Steve. Well, actually, I've been known to change my names. Unfortunately, I could also become Bob at any time. Just one of you. Steve. Okay. Steve. A teal shirt. 
Huh? Cop. <laughs> is that better? <laughs> is this better? Mm -hmm. Jack? Oh, that is gross. You should notice what you're talking about. Right? Exactly. <laughs> is that better, Jack? <laughs> is, is this better? Are you not entertained? I can't wait to see the comments just like, God damn it, so many boxes, stop it, I quit. I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> Are you not entertained? You're no, assuming I'm not. we're going to get any comments. Yeah, we're not. We have one guy watching us right now. As of this video being recorded, by the way, guys, only one video has gone up. You want to yeah, know something? Fair. I'm happy with that. Because you know why? It's the shadow. <laughs> My thing is... Because you're trying to on the LSD. It, the video... And we're talking about this right now, but the video that's been up, the only reason why it's been up is because it was a continuous video. The other one, the other episodes have to be recollected and revised into one episode. So we apologize for that. Pay no attention to the giant whiteness that's going to appear on the screen. Because apparently somebody's a little mellow about all the squares. There. You realize you can cover areas up with the polygon too. Shh. And besides, I tried that. <laughs> Just created more squares. Of course you did. All right. Well, can I Just, look around and see what's going on, or is it dark? It's actually pretty light. You're in a glass kind of ceiling area. Oh, pity. Pay no attention to the man that is like just. How tall is this tower? Um, if I told you that, I'd be jump off. Fair point. Right, oh, so by I, the way, your, kids... your hands and feet are chained. Yeah, I figured. I need to get a bigger, a better Dragonborn image. Okay. Yeah, um, good, but no are, there, are there any guards in here? As far as you can tell, no. Perception. I'm not falling for your tricks anymore. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, the reason why. Oh, by the way, the reason guys why don't even here... know each other. I forgot about that. The reason oh, why, re here. reason why kid is here and not like in the map, randomly. You need to turn off the advantage like... on your roller. How? No, I can do that? it for you. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Well, <clears throat> quick side story for all those that all the one that is watching. <laughs> By the way, love you, that one guy. We've all been there. I've been that one guy. But, quick side story. Kit here decided to... Dis being being a very uh, attracted by shiny halfling as he is, he decides to go into a jewelry store, hold it up at point blank with his fist, and then... Well, hold on, hold on. Convinces somebody to take out a diamond necklace, and then he just grabs it and tries to run off with it, and then runs right into the door, tries to break a window, can't break the window, and then fails to notice that there was a guard in there the entire time. <laughs> and so as soon as he puts the necklace down and tries to leave, BAM! <laughs> just BAM! He gets his head blown off. <laughs> Well, no, he just knocked the fuck out. He got lucky that this particular guard was carrying a great club instead of a rifle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it, it was like a billy club, you know? <laughs> just, just something just like... A billy club that almost killed me. Are those rifles or are they muskets? You have no idea. You you actually haven't really seen them. Alright, uh, anyways, moving on. Yeah. What, I've not seen the guards carrying them? Oh, you've seen the guards, it's just, uh... Christ, that's a really lot of squares. don't look at their weapons, because uh, they, kind of okay. don't like that. Okay, that makes sense. It's a lot of fucking squares. Shh. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll try to see number Get on with it! Yes, okay. get on with it! Sorry, it was time for story time. So, you notice that behind, beside you, there are chain walls. Through you the chain walls, you can see that there are people. You just see people. Where? Are they dressed like we are? Well, some of them are orange, some of them are blue. Where are the people? Well, oh. I can't show you because you can't see them, but, uh... You see that black box right there? Yeah. That's it. 
Okay. Also, you ever gonna respond to my 16 perception check to look for guards? Yeah, that was the 16 perception check. Alright. Look for guards, Brad. I would like to say hello to the person chained up next to me. Hello. You're, curr you're currently tripping balls, sir. I thought that was because... last night. <laughs> right. You, it was strong enough that you're still tripping. Awesome. <laughs> it oh, just yeah. you're still kind of kind of there. Just bro. <laughs> I'm just gonna stare uh, at the ceiling, man, and just click my claws. Insert together. Hank Hill. <gasps> Here. Is it is it possible to shuffle away? Like, hey, somebody just not that far as far that. as jeans will go. Hey, Jeremy. Like over here. Hey, Jeremy. Oh, thank you, Jeremy. Oh, it is Jeremy now. He has made it. We're well, all you have to do this. is hop on. Don't you lie. Yeah, okay, on a second. Yeah. Okay, so, what was that again? Is it possible for me to, like, shuffle the the here <laughs> away from him? <laughs> you can try. These are pretty heavy chains for you. Mm. Alright, so I guess You can that's... tell that they're tied down to a very heavy thing, and they're very heavy chains. Wait, I'm a half one. I should be able to slip right out of those. I mean, you could try. You have to pull a slide of hand check with disadvantage right. because they took into account you're a halfling. <laughs> you don't have slide of hand proficiency, do you? Nope. Just remembering the last time you tried to use it. Oh, oh really? Yeah, was disadvantage. Stuck in. Hmm? You are still are stuck. Are present with Jack? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Alright. So, um... Hmm. I don't want to do this. So where will my? S I need to get to my armory because like I need to get to armory where you are, or like wherever the stuff's kept. So I need to get my mask back. That's Dude, my top priority. Not, not it did. Well, okay. nobody knows what you're talking about. Where's Maybe the door that I was? Where's the door that I was talking to the guards through earlier from last night? Oh, it was on the ground floor. Oh damn it! So it's not here then. Like right here. Yeah. Although you do see a staircase right there. Yeah. Very obviously a staircase. Can I start to shuffle over to it? You can try. Okay, I'll start to shuffle over to it. How far do I get? Roll me a strength check. Okay. I'm good at that. You make, it, you make it a pretty decent length. However, the chains stop you from moving. You make it about five feet forward. So, where? Like, fucking here? Right about. You, like, make it to this. You see where the square is? Yeah, mm -hmm. and then you get pulled back, kinda. Because mm -hmm. you can't go any further than that. Yeah. Alright, okay. um. You kinda I hear want... a snicker in the side room. I can't make it. And I wanna go over to the back. Chairman, stop. Then you what? Can put back taking that already Wait, in, um, in both of us. See, yes. It's possible to move to the base of the chains and investigate the um, investigate the base where it's connected. You can try. I just like how you two are stuck together and like nobody yeah. has said anything. I was gonna say nobody has said a word yet. I mean remember you said you tried, but like he was nuts. <laughs> yeah, I I tried saying hi. I said hi. He did say something, it's just... It's Wasn't, like, rude. incomprehensible. <laughs> it's, like, it, it's like drunken draconic. So it's like... Oh, 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 oh. It's like clearly not someone it's I want like to deal with. It's like trying to understand Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. Now. Let's just not talk about him here. <laughs> this is. I don't feel like it. And just then, a level 100 Donald Trump comes down and builds a wall. <laughs> if you're not doing this again... Yeah, let's just let's leave politics out of D&D. That's a yes. different universe. Let's Until actually. politics come into D and D with palaces and kingdoms and stuff. Let's not. <laughs> oh, wait. I have an idea. I'm gonna speak to dude. Oi. What dude? Which oh, dude? Michelle. Jack. Ah, okay. Well, big dude. What do you want? Um. Um. What, do you want? Um, what are you here for? I forgot my captain's name. <laughs> <laughs> That, Not to it. mention, you were walking around at night with a giant fucking axe. I'm always walking around with a giant fucking axe. He says to yes. have voice in his head. Isn't that normal in, like, this kind of society? Yeah. <laughs> As you can tell, no one is not. 
<laughs> Apparently not, because he got thrown in jail. Basically, I got racially profiled. <laughs> oh, that's no fair. You should really stick it to him for that. Yeah. Racial profile? That's, that's wrong. I don't See, they did the same thing to me. I was trying to help out my girl. Yeah? How's that? Well, it... I was going to get her a shiny necklace for her birthday, but mm -hmm. that didn't work out. Um, roll anyways. Roll of love, check, <laughs> love check, sir. <laughs> Alright, let's go Please. see this. Please. <laughs> one, one, one. Yeah. Uh, I would have preferred a ten. one because of Lucky. <laughs> it is a ten. So you can obviously tell that something bad did happen. Yeah, I lost. Passive perception, sir. Oh, okay. You can obviously tell. Mine's that... 13, get fucked. Yeah, you can obviously tell that something did happen. When he went to the jewelry store that he's not talking about. What are you not talking about? <laughs> um, the fact that I couldn't quite afford it. But anyways, anyways, um... Okay. Do you think... You look tough. Um, do you think you can, um, break these chains or pull away from the base? You know, like, just yank it away from the base. doesn't look that strong. I don't know. I'm, I'm new here. I don't want to start shit. I'm, I'm just... I'm just... Trying to find my friend with the book. What kind of book? It's a book about stuff. I don't know what the stuff is. It, well, does it have anything in it that can get me out of here? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> we found the book on an island that didn't exist. And then we came back, and I was walking around, and I got arrested because I'm black. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. And a Anyways, board. um, think you can, like, shoot through the chain or something? Hmm, I can probably melt it, but I don't know. I'll give it melt? a Melt? Yeah. Why don't you just start with that? Who would just sit here and let this happen? Because <laughs> I, I don't want to start shit. Just well, then, you hear footsteps from the stairs. Hey, person on the stairs, do you know where my sword is? I got it from my dad. I want it back. What Just are you hear very quiet, like, shut up. <laughs> I don't uh, can I get my mask? Can I get my mask back? I swear there are no weapons in it. I said shut up. I don't wanna. <laughs> Make me. Oh my god. I don't yeah. wanna. So you see this guy carrying a briefcase walk up. What's a briefcase? <laughs> you clearly know that it's some kind of weird device hold, it's a used box. to hold stuff. It's a Just box. A box that you hold in your hand. Okay. Do you want them to answer that question honestly? What? Intelligence? What's your intelligence score? Nine. <laughs> Not that good? Nine. Minus nine as well. I just want to point out that you're probably the smartest person in the room right now. <laughs> Not wanting to start stuff. Yeah. Actually, yeah. And he's also the barbarian, too. Well, I'm, I know. I'm in oh a new city. God. I'm Wait. trying to be polite. I don't want to attract the attention of the Lich King and get everybody slaughtered and sacrificed for rituals. And that Jack sounds fair. Because that's just head. another thing the I have to fight. Over is like, Lich King, what the fuck are you talking about? The, the <laughs> bad god king. Yeah, he looks at you as like, the fuck are you talking about? You know, Wait, I don't know I say, that, yeah, yeah, he's way, you gotta let me out. He looks <laughs> over and she's like, shut up. I don't wanna. <laughs> like, both of you, please. It, it's been a long fucking day. <laughs> how, how about this? You give me my stuff back, and I'll shut up. Do you know why you've been brought up here? Because I couldn't remember Captain Tomic's name. How... He looks at you in kind of shock, like, how do you not know his name? I've, I forgot it, because I don't, I don't have a good memory, but then I remembered it while I was coming up the stairs. He just I, looks at you, like, you can are you ask sure him. it wasn't just the poster of him sitting in the lobby that you remembered? Yes, I'm sure, because I remembered, because we went and went to an island, and we found stuff, and then he got knocked out, and then I dragged him back to the ship. You can go okay, ask him, find off, him, and ask him, and he'll find for I got a few him. questions for you. What? First off, what stuff? And second off, how did he get knocked out? Uh, I don't know. The man know. killed a kraken by himself. Cool. How did he I get didn't. knocked out? I don't know. 
<laughs> he's just looking at you, waiting. <laughs> Ow. Like, he, he's just looking at you, like... Go ask Captain Tommy. I was on the boat with him. My name seriously. is Jack Marr. I'm from a dragonborn village in the spine of the world that was recently taken over I, by the I Mad King. I tell you're a dragonborn, sir. <laughs> I'm one of the few black dragonborn left. I had to kill my brother because he was trying to kill me, and then I got pissed, so, and then so I melted my sword. you're a murderer, then? No. I'm a full What's with the giant fucking axe you had? Self-defense. <laughs> Look, okay, just keep it down. It's self-defense with this guy, I would say. <laughs> um, I am here under false pretenses. I should not be here right now. He looks dead at you, he's like... I heard from the guard that was at the store... You are the worst thief I've ever <laughs> met. Um, he starts breaking into laughter. He's like, I would let you know as a pure pity. Maybe, I mean, you could do that. <laughs> no, no, I, I don't want to die. The entrepreneurs you're looking for. You auto fail because he obviously does not want to die. The entrepreneurs you're looking for. Now, you see, I wasn't even stealing. I just wanted to take the thing outside for better light. As you may be able to tell, I'm not the smartest man. I didn't think that they would think that I'm stealing. She looks over and she's like, I apologize. You're not even a man at all. I'm like, just waving my hand like in his face. Um, that's actually super racist. You look over at him, you can tell he's a dwarf. You're just like calling yourself half a man? You're short. Which I'm is selfish. <laughs> I'd like hey, to think I'm hey. sitting on the ground right now. I'd like to stand up next to him and just wave my hand in his face and go, We aren't the prisoners you're looking for. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. I'm still stoned out of my mind, so eh. Really quickly, roll me a D20. Okay. Yeah, just, just a straight up D20. D uh -huh. Straight up D20. Mm -hmm. We aren't the prisoners you're looking for. Oh god, this is gonna be hilarious. Okay. Oh gosh. I don't care at this point, I'm just having fun. <laughs> 13. Okay. Hmm, interesting. He got a 13. He grabs you by the hand, and then pulls you over him, and throws you on the floor. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, now I'm ready to start shit. I'm going to go into a rage, and I'm going to attack him with my fists. You realize, as soon as you try, the, t the chains get very, very tight, and you get pulled farther back. I'd like to think I could think about this logically, but at this point, I'm just going to growl, and then I'm going to... Well, I guess I can't do anything right now. It's not my turn, is it? No. So I'm just gonna shout, Go fuck yourself, you stupid asshole! I'm gonna rip your throat out! And to think, I came here because I was told to be your legal counsel. <laughs> Bite my um, big black ass! Excuse me, Fat excuse, me ass. excuse me, Mr. Whatever your name is, it's not safe here. I'd like to be escorted elsewhere. You're first. damn right it's not uh, safe, wait, shall uh, I? <laughs> No. You want to be escorted outside? There's a window right behind you I could just throw you out of, if you'd like. I mean, I could take that. <laughs> okay. Have fun with the 100 foot drop. You know, I couldn't dig that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna rip wait. your cock off and shove it down your throat. Jabari. What? Roll me a per perception check. Mm, can't wait to get that too. Can't wait to get two ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that might happen. Yo, boy, I already set it to rolling normal for you. Sweet, thanks. Okay, no, you realize that... <clears throat> Hold on one moment. You see... Two more guards. <laughs> Climb up the stairs. They have swords. What do you do? Huh. Hey, did you call for help, buddy? No, these people are your escorts. For both of you. To? Oh, to the courts, of course. Courts? Yeah. Uh, mm, mm. I didn't do anything wrong, though, I tell you. <laughs> okay, how many times do I have to tell you? You are the worst? I'm just gonna let out a I've terrifying roar at this you're not, point. You're not gonna let me roll deception there? <laughs> no, because he clearly knows. 
Girl, motherfucker. Okay, so... Uh, fine, I guess I'll have to go through this legal process. Ugh. He's fine. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, he won by one. Congratulations. Congratulations. Damn it. <laughs> you know what? It's fair. I know. I don't have to like it though. Just because it's fair doesn't mean I have to like it. But yeah, I'm, that's a I'm fair being point. in character. Oh, that reminds me. Can I use my inspiration die? Or is it too late? Too late, man. Damn it. You gotta call them shots, dude. Fuck. So, um. Just gonna say that. Guy won. Guy one, guy fox. And guy seven. Walk up to you both. What do you want to do? I'm I going say, to. Um, can you just put the sword away, please? Jeez. Make me. He looks at you and it's just like, kind of just scoffs. He do puts the sword you? away. Oh. But then I'm he going... pulls out this kind of weird looking rod. Hmm. Um, what are you going to do with that? Friend? He kind of just chuckles to himself. Friend? <laughs> I think my rage is over at this point, isn't it? Yeah. I think it lasts for like 10 seconds. Oh, I don't know. Uh, you can tell that it has been magically stopped. Of course it has. So I'm going to sit down, close my eyes, and just kneel on the floor with my hands pushed together. And just sit there. Okay. Good. <clears throat> and the barbarian is still the sanest person here. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, no. You see the dwarf is like, I'm going to ask you nicely to not resist anything that's about to happen. Um. He's talking to both of you. Um, 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 um. I'm going to sit here in silence and just wrap my tail around myself and just sit there. Um, I'll comply on the one condition that I give my mask back. Jeez. He looks over at you like, you're in no condition to bargain. But there aren't- I don't even keep weapons in it, though. <laughs> you are in no condition to bargain. You either don't resist, or we we basically knock you out. Uh, look over right. at the guy that put his sword away, and the rod is starting to glow. Fine. I'll comply. Ugh. And with that, we move on to the next group. I never said I went anywhere, so I'm just pointing that out. Oh. Are you complying or not? No, I'm being an ass and sitting on the floor. Okay. <clears throat> Pit, uh, please roll me a perception check to see what happens to Jack. By the way, you guys still don't know each other too well. Nope. Never really talked much. I said hi, he didn't respond. You said that he was, like, incomprehensible, so that's not my fault. Yeah, but still... He seems to have gained that conscience and just everything else. The ability to talk. You know what? I asked what he was there for. <laughs> I yeah, told him. Yeah. yeah. So I have done nothing wrong. Still waiting on that perception roll there, Thunder. Oh, I thought you said for just him. Oops. No, no, it's for you. Look, to see what happens to me. Because I have my eyes closed. I'm not seeing shit. Yeah. Okay, all you had to do was not get a one. Because <laughs> this is blatantly clear. You see the other guard pull out the rod that he has, and it glows brighter than the one that's in front of you. <clears throat> he goes to take a, a swing. He takes a swing at Jack. Jack, you are instantly knocked out. Damn it. Go figure. I can tasers. <laughs> Pretty much. And you I can't make a move. save against this, can I? Nope, because you you did not see it coming. That's you did good. not resist it. However, you did not do anything. However, I have resistance against bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Yeah, yeah you're not you're not damaged too much by it, but you can tell that you're getting shocked and possibly extremely burned by this thing. Damn it! And it hurts like hell, and it through the pain alone, you got knocked out. <laughs> But However, also, hang on, I can make a deck save, but uh, never mind. No, never mind. 
you did not you did not see this coming. I was gonna you did not expect this to happen. Yeah, I was gonna use my and, danger sense, but it doesn't work. Yeah. And you willingly sat there and did nothing. Yep. You have been knocked out. Okay. So they both turn all of them and turn to you as like, are you going to cooperate? Uh, I think I'm good. <laughs> you see the you see the one that was standing in front of you just like, aww. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we move back to the main people, the good oh, excuse people. Excuse me, Francis. The good people. The people that aren't in jail. I did what I did because it's in character. I, I tried to be wrong. polite. I tried to play nice. I was antagonized, and I went to my father. You did shove your hand in his face. That's what the role was for. I know. Your two, even though you're still kind of loopy from the drugs, your two kind of just punched him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> so I went, look at my hand! <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like putting your hand all over his face. Capture started. So, Jack and Kit are now knocked out. Let's move um, on to the next one. I'm not knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> As in, you're knocked out of the way, and we're moving on. I think the guard just wanted to knock you out on purpose, so, uh, you know what? Real quick, dodge check. You failed. I have to zoom out again. Um, it's not failed. Congratulations. No, um, I am petty, so I'm actually going to roll the, let's see, the deck save. You know that was a joke, right? I'm petty. <laughs> if you get okay, good enough. <laughs> Actually, nothing happened. He wasn't trying to hit you. <laughs> just a, I just he like was spotting a fly. <laughs> <laughs> he was spotting a fly. He knocked out the fly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Okay, now we're move on to the next group. <clears throat> Yay! So, <clears throat> Ilda and Jeremy, after a nice long rest, you both wake up. Mine's four Jeremy's, hours, so I've been awake yeah. for a while. Well, you, you hear, like, remnants of, like, <laughs> just some... of just You're being cursed good. out. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of haunts your memory, and so you kind of went back to sleep and woke up again another four hours later. <laughs> the power of you being late. <laughs> Damn it. Get fucked. <laughs> so, um, because uh, somebody brought this to my attention, Seth and Jeremy... Roll me initiative checks. Oh, jeez. Check. To see who wakes like? up first. I don't actually, actually, I swear me has advantage hours. on this. Well, you, got, you have advantage on this, but you were late, so. What do you mean? Well, I was late, late so I put you to sleep for an extra four hours. But you said, oh, where the fuck is that? You said it's, you it's, it's in context yeah. of, like, to make sure you kind of fit into the story and that nobody was, like, kind of. So, initiative, you said? Yeah. Yeah, just roll me initiative. You have advantage. Because you're elf. Don't judge me. When players aren't here, I have to come up with reasons for that. You can roll again. Okay. Does everybody know how to activate advantage on their character sheet? Yes. I do. Yeah, I just figured it out. I yeah. just figured it out like a second ago, too. Okay. Dang it. Well, uh -huh. you know, 20 get fucked. Jeremy, you woke up first. What do you do? I leave and go to the... Uh, the market, okay. the jewelry shop, or whatever. As you start to leave, you notice that the tiefling bard that was messing with you yesterday is just now leaving her room. And Ilda, you also wake up too before Jeremy leaves his room. Before Jeremy leaves the room, I should say. Twenty ears, where are you going? I must sell my shit. Hold <laughs> me a prank set, Jeremy, for picking up your bag. <laughs> do, I, do I need a little few? Because I don't walk a while. <laughs> just, just roll me one general one, and it will decrease by one every every minute or so. You immediately fall over. <laughs> God damn it. Get fucked. <laughs> roll, learn to roll higher, sir. <laughs> While you're struggling with your bag, you see that the tiefling bard is standing there. Okay, you're good. I'm giggling a little bit. <laughs> You're just dragging your bag down the stairs. And then you dance, 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 and dance, dance, dance. 
Is it okay if I decide to follow him? Because I feel like he needs to be baby dad. Yeah. You can actually help him carry his stuff, too, if you want. Uh, no. 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 <laughs> no. 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 I must carry it myself. I must bear the weight of my own jewelry. Even though I have the urge to help him, he is really annoying. <laughs> I oh. must sell it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall in beside him and say, Hey, you need some help, sir? God, not the stalker again. <laughs> Jesus, no. <laughs> that loud... <laughs> Why? He just called you a stalker. <laughs> I'm, I'm just giggling more. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm sorry, miss, uh, Wait, wait, wait. He... Roll a deception check, Seth. Please. Remember, I have plus five to that, so... Yes. Because oh, expertise, shit. she has an extra plus five to that, so that makes it a 21. Uh, no, Jeremy, I'm going to roll she five. Rolled an 11. What am I rolling? I have no, a no, plus she ten to all deception checks. Yeah, because oh, okay. expertise. You can no, set that because I have the expertise in stealth, and it only gives me plus five in total. Well, you're supposed to double it, you know? The no, e. I didn't, because it doesn't... Uh, it didn't you're Technically speaking, you're supposed to add in, you're supposed to double the modifier on an expertise skill. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I did not know you had expertise on that skill. I am sorry. No, that's okay. Anyway. So, Jeremy, you can roll a counter for this. What am I countering? That he, that he is walking beside me? You can roll a d20 for this. My yeah, deception is I'm trying desperately not to burst into laughter. Just a straight d20, or...? Yep, straight d20 for this, sir. Because you have to be the 21. <laughs> you can do it. You didn't do it. I don't think I can beat a 21 with a straight d20. Nat 20, sir. No, why? I mean, 21, so beat 20. No, no, nat 20 beats all. Oh, well, when you can literally kill gods if you wanted to. <laughs> However, Steve also did pick, can decide what nat 20s do, because I rolled a nat 100. Damn. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> so, Seth, you have successfully deceived him into not believing that you were trying to do anything disgusting or hurtful. And um, honestly, I just stopped caring. I still also, think he's of... a stalker, though. Uh, by the way, Seth is a she. Yeah. What? Seth it's a she. A she. God, I'm no. sorry. I still think it's a stalker, though. He's he's <laughs> blinded by the braids. <laughs> oh my god. So as you guys walk down the stairs, you see the bartender look over, and he looks over at Seth and Jeremy's like, Huh, you guys must have been up to something last night. Oh! Oh! My yeah. God! What's going on with this day? I, I, I don't know like this me. lady. <laughs> hey! He looks at me like, like it, hey, that it, never stopped me before. <laughs> Miss Performer Lady, I'm so sorry that you have to be acquainted with him. What? I'm not trying to be acquainted with anyone. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's obsessed with me because I beat her with my flute of limb. It was an interesting match. It was fun. Oh my god. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> Jeremy, roll me a normal d20. Oh, sweet Jesus, what's this gonna go for? Oh, this is gonna be- this is called recollection. You believe <laughs> that she thinks you're a god because you beat her completely in her own <laughs> element. You think she's in love with you. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, sweet Baronor. However, you can do with that information with what you want. But that is what you, you kind of think from that role. Can I allow to just be annoyed? Or do I have to roll a check or anything? No, no, you're fine. I'm it, this is just recollection of the last night. You well, bring my back, recollection bring together all annoyed. the memories. He had to put together all his memories of her following him around. <laughs> Alright, so am I at this fucking market shithole yet? <clears throat> I mean, you gotta move your character, dude. Okay. And with that, we move to the next map that I made. Hold on one quick moment. As I just... Do, 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 do. So what's the red circle and the blue circle for again? The blue circle is armor class, but well, what's the red circle? Red circle is red circle speed.
Oh, okay. E Pay no attention to the discussion of stats. <laughs> so Characters can't discuss stats. She's a kitty cat. While we're right, on so where, where is this goddamn journalist? I noticed trip? that I noticed that you're um I noticed you're heading toward the market. Yeah, they're okay. all headed to the market. You're all there. You trying to you trying to sell all this loot? I don't know what loot you hey, speak of. Hey Jeremy. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> hey. Yeah. Should probably stop so I can describe the market when you arrive. I'm just no. I'm trying to run away from them. I don't know. I'm not trying to go into anything right now. I'm just trying to run away. You should, you should probably wait until I describe stuff, or else. Two hundred pounds. <laughs> yeah. I'm four foot tall, and you are carrying two hundred pounds, and I can walk faster than you. Yeah. By the way, Jeremy, you should be at half your walk speed. Run it down. But when you teleport, that doesn't really matter. Actually, it does matter. Yes. <laughs> it means you can only teleport half the distance. <laughs> okay. okay, well, so describe this market to us, Brandon. You're or standing in a fountain. Least, yeah, you're standing in a fountain. <laughs> so, it's a nice roll little stream. Check to see if you fall over. <laughs> Please. No, I, didn't even, check? I didn't even move it there. This is like, this is total bullshit right you here. You moved it there, you huh? You kept moving it. No, so. I'm not moving it right now. Yes, you are. Yes, <laughs> No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm a kitty cat. That's 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 that. that, 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 that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Assholes. I wasn't even moving it. <laughs> How am I supposed to know? Uh, that's 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 that, that. She's a kitty cat. Here, anyway. Don't worry, I got this. You're a ninja. Bam. Please go. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> you arrive at the market. It is rush hour. The streets are alive and bustling with everything. You guys almost get here, nearly hit by a carriage, speeding by. <clears throat> you walk in onto Main Street, and you see that there's a directory that tells you all the stores around. Conveniently, it's a map. And you can tell all the stores. How convenient. That's nice. How fortuitous. It kind of looks what you're stand like what you're standing on. Shh. <laughs> Oh. Well, at least everything's labeled. I like so, back home, but if you have any questions, you may ask the directory. So, directory, where are the jewelry shops? You 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 ask the directory. People around you are kind of just looking at you funny. <laughs> the directory does not talk. You said ask the directory. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, Is it fine. Like a gazebo. He did that to fuck with you. Yeah. Well, see, I believe people. <laughs> However, well, you do like realize... You would be the person who would believe in the dreaded gazebo. You do I realize... Will. It's not a perfect cut. Hold on, you do realize that when you did ask that question, certain stores did light up. Whoa, wait, am I on, like, on a car or something? What the fuck is this? You're, that's a carriage. Oh, never mind. You did realize that some of some shops did light up. You said jewelry stores, right? Yes, the perfect cut, right? You got perfect cut. You got. <clears throat> I want to go into the perfect cut. Hold on, there should be another one around here. Is it the uh, Wee Brew? No. No. It's gonna be trinkets, probably. It is the trinkets. Yeah, the tags trinkets is what I was thinking. And then you may also find stuff in the Odysseys and like curiosity, the oddities and curiosities. All right. Well, I go into the perfect cut. Okay, well, before you get there, like, right outside the door... Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Hello, oh, <can't>. again. <laughs> I'm gonna... Oh, by the way... Which store are you guys going to? The perfect cut. Okay. Just trying to make sure. Is this the one with the scuff in the window? I mean, you don't know. You haven't made it there yet. <laughs> I but, there. like, right outside, I'm gonna be like... Are you trying to sell those? Sell so what? The giant uh, rupee that's sticking out of your backpack. I don't know what you're talking about. Jimmy, she can reasonably assume buyer. that. Everybody knows. I don't care. I wasn't everybody nice knows yet. that everybody dies. I'm Jimmy, going to... Jimmy, you are not a very good liar. I'm going to pull out a little slip of paper and hand it to Jeremy. And he can see a, it's a banknote 
worth 500 G. 500 gold. Okay. Jeremy, you see that there's a banknote in front of you. That this this lady's handing you a banknote for 500 gold. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? I want to buy them from you. All of them? We assume you are an idiot. All of them. That? Oh, hold on. No. You can assume that this banknote is worth 500 gold, and you can well, take no, it to the bank. I got that part. But, um... Or... I could go and see what they would all be worth, and then if it's worth more or less, then I would trade. Okay. So, do you walk in? Yeah. Okay, you walk into the perfect cut. You I'm realize it's babysitting. a hair salon. <laughs> I'm just standing outside babysitting. It's a <laughs> Alright, well, I walk up to the, the guy behind the counter or whatever. <laughs> He just said it was a hair salon. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> you, you walk up to the guy on the counter. He's like, what can I do for you today? You need a trim. Can you point me to the nearest jewelry shop? Oh, yeah, it's right next door. <laughs> what? Out of the, curiosity. Out of the okay. Then I leave and go into that one. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs> I am sorry you are being associated with a moron. <laughs> I'm speaking to Seth. Okay. Fine. Oh, By the way, no, no Seth is stalking me. All of you. I, I didn't want I that to happen. I still don't know her name. I'm speaking as in like. Please roll perception checks. Oh yeah. All Ilda. of us. Yeah, Elda, you only realize that she's the bar from the bar. Yeah, that's, that's the only. That's how that, you know her. Yeah. I Jeremy, know who she is. I just don't know her name. You, you know this. <laughs> you said perception, right? I know this. Yep. What? One moment, waiting for Ilda. Ilda notices. And Seth, you kinda notice? Upon walking to the Odysseys and Curiosity Shop, you notice that it is a jewelry store along with very other, like, mysterious items. Oh, thank god. Black market. But you notice that there's a giant mark on the window. <laughs> oh god. Right. I walk up to the There's guy also behind police the line on it, like police tape over the window. <laughs> I walk up to the guy behind the counter. <laughs> you walk up to the guy behind the counter. Yeah. What do you say? All right. He's busy polishing some silver right behind, like with his back turned to you. All right. I say to him, like, all right. <laughs> I have some stuff to sell. Would you be willing to buy it, depending on what it is? He turns around and is like, he looks you over, he realizes you haven't bathed in like a week. <laughs> and he just like, what could you possibly have? I just say, rubies. He kind of raises his eyebrow like, please. I pull out one like small himself. ruby. He looks at them and like, and show him. He picks it up, grabs a little, like, magnifying glass and checks it over. Huh. It seems okay. I have more of those, but how much would this one be worth? It looks like it's like, um... I got a question for you first. What is your profession? Where did you acquire these? That's for me to know and for you to not find out. Oh, I, do not, I do not deal in <laughs> stolen goods, sir. Oh, darcy me. It's not stolen. I got it from a... Mine so, that I was paid for. Jeremy, let me hear So, you're a miner? No. I got paid to mine. I'm not a miner. He kind of just slaps his head. You're an idiot, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you know what? I I'll give you ten gold per one of these as he holds up the small ruby. <clears throat> Jeremy, can no. I please step in? What? Let what? me handle this. You're probably better at talking. <laughs> She's charming as fuck. I'm sorry for the idiot, sir. I'm really sorry. Quite. The price stands, though. Ten gold. The price stands at ten? <clears throat> ten gold per small ruby. Like this. If you don't like Last it... Last time I heard, there were twenty. He raises his eyebrow. Who are you? 
My name is Ilda Ungart. I'm actually from Boulder Skate. I'm here working for Captain Tomic. Oh. So you were on his uh, ship then? Yes, I was. Okay. <clears throat> so I guess you kind of know your things, huh? Yes, I do. Well, how about, the, how about these? I give you 15. What about for a medium one? You have a medium one? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Hang on a second. How does he not see the giant ruby? <laughs> Hey, yo, yo, we already have questions. Oh, by the way, now. Jeremy, roll me a strength check. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I'm the best, don't you? Mean don't let me fall over in the shop. <laughs> she, You're fine. A kitty cat. <laughs> she don't dance out there, she don't dance out right. By the way, Seth, what are you doing as they're all in the store? Uh, listening, patiently, waiting. Are you in the store with them? She no, I'm right them. outside. Okay. Just leaning up against the... Well, tower. while they're doing that, roll me a perception check. Come on, dice, don't hate me. Dag on it. Okay. <laughs> you notice some fat carriages. And you notice there's really one fat guy with a pig face? Pig face? A what? <laughs> I'm going to watch. And pig face it. guy? And that is it. Pig face guy? Yes. Or them? Okay, we'll Wait, get back no, to you in with, Is he with them, or...? No, no, he's walking towards the shop. Okay, um... At the moment, I'm going to avoid him. Okay. It's gonna kinda... Yeah. So, <clears throat> back to you guys now. <clears throat> he's like... <sighs> so you're saying you have more rubies? Yes, and they're in the I'm... idiot's bag, sadly. Yes, I have. I can't rubies. appraise what I cannot see. I have I to take, take out, each ruby by a case by case. I take out one medium ruby and show him, and take I back the one small it. ruby. He takes. <laughs> he looks over at the small at the medium <laughs> ruby now, kind of appraising it. It's like, hmm. Guess I can do thirty gold. Thirty gold. The last I checked, this was worth at least forty, forty-five. Can you shut up? What? He looks over, he's like, And how would you know this? Are you not just a miner? What? Oh, they talk. <laughs> Are you not just a miner? I'm not a miner, I already told you that. I'm you told me that you mined, it, mined these gems from the ground, and you are yeah. paid for that. Does not make you a miner? <laughs> Oh my god. I, I'm so, okay, sorry, fine. I does not I understand I, how occupations work. I can tell. <laughs> no, I'm I got very, paid very for one mining thing. That doesn't make me a miner for life. <laughs> that does make you a miner. Shut your mouth, or I'm going to take that backpack off your back and kick you out of here. No, I will force feed you my rubies if you try and do it. <laughs> you said you would let me do the talking. Now shut up. Fine. You can talk. I never said I would let you. I never agreed to your deal. You either let me, or this guy is going to rip you off. Uh, fine. And you offer 30 gold for the medium. 30 gold for the medium. May I ask you though, where are you getting your prices from? I pull out the book from my backpack. Oh, this book is five years old. It's. He seems kind of uneasy as he's saying this, and looks over it. These prices are old news, you know? Last time I checked, the rubies are rarer than diamonds. So much sleaze. Uh, you don't know which is rare. You're not specialized in gems. <laughs> no, I'm not, but I'm still... <laughs> <laughs> Roll deception on that. Roll deception? Yes. With, with disadvantage, because he's a gem, sell he's a gem seller. I'm totally fine if I don't get a good score on this. I'm very. I'm literally just playing my character right now. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. However, he does seem uneasy when you pulled out the book and started showing prices. But he takes a sigh of relief when he reads that it's a five year old book. <clears throat> so, don't you, you, do, those you do accurately deceive him. You may That's do with that what you want. <laughs> he is now kind of startled that you think that he thinks he know you know what you're doing. Well, well, okay, okay. 
I pay the price that's in the book. Well, for a medium, technically, that's actually more than what's the book price. And you offered that first. I will pay what I will pay the price of the book. You may roll like you may roll perception on him and stuff like that, but nothing more. What about for the one that's making him fall over? <laughs> oh, actually, I got three that are making him fall over. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you hear from the prison across the city. <laughs> <laughs> and you just hear a loud oh around the market. <laughs> no, you just hear me roaring from a, from down the street and a, from from across town. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a subsonic thing. You just hear like go, 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 go. so. Are you going to roll perception on him? No. Uh, sure. Because why not? Hold on. Kitty cat. Still on disadvantage. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry, I'll just take the 22. You can obviously tell that this man is lying through his teeth about the price. Although, from the way that he's looked, like, the way that he seems to be, like, looking and all that, he is extremely lowballing you. I call Malarkey. What now? I call Malarkey. You're bluffing. You're still on disadvantage. He, he coughs really quickly like, what was that? Malarkey, you say? Yes. I call your bluff. Well, <laughs> the price stands at 40 gold. 40. 40. 40 goals for the medium ruby. Okay. <laughs> you do realize, though, that you can make quite a good buck off somebody who doesn't know what they're talking about. Yes. And I'm kind of sad to say you know what you're talking about and you drive a hard bargain. But if you think about it, if you want to sell it to somebody who likes something shiny, but doesn't really know how gems work, then you could always... Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> then you could always he sell it to them for a price he, he, that seems wait, ridiculous. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. He breaks out into a horrible sweat. He's like... Um, 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 um... Okay, 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 fine. You drive a very, very hard bargain. But I can't go... You're a medium cat. Like, you you can't, I can't go any higher than 40 for a medium diet for a medium like that. What about the one that's popping out of his backpack? <laughs> yeah, I was he. Ilda. Um. Everybody knows it's there. The, the, even no. the guy behind the counter knows it's there. Uh, no, I have fucking three different ones I could be popping out. I don't know which one she's talking about. All of them. <laughs> 52 oh, when you put on top. Oh, the oh, giant. Oh, so you <laughs> straight everybody roll perception. Me? Well, everybody that's currently on the board. Okay. <laughs> okay. You'll yeah. see it. I see uh, everything. Why do you always get 20s? <laughs> I don't know. Why do the mm -hmm. dice hate me? You got blinded by the fountain, it splashed water in your eyes. <laughs> and Jeremy sees it. Just then, a rather fat man walks into the store. Come on, I just want to sell my fucking uh, shit already. With a, with a pig face and a mole on his left side. Oh, fudge. He goes up to the counter, he's like, Ah, top of the morning. I'm fucking here already. Wait <laughs> in line. <laughs> Jeez. He said top of the so morning much to you. Right now. Hello, sir. Oh, is it to me or the guy behind the counter? To, like, to, to all of you. To oh. everyone. Well, good morning, but good morning. there's a line, I guess. Well, I I'm guess. okay with waiting. Okay. However, I'm just going to have to say, uh, you might need to hurry up. I got, I got some place I get to go soon. Okay, well. Accent. 
As soon as we get a good price, then we will be out to your hair and you can do whatever you need to do, okay? Well, okay. Going to move slightly into the right. But may I ask, though, are those real rubies that you have there? Yes. What are you doing? Yes. Why? How fabulous. Is, is that all? Or... Well, yeah. Okay, yeah. then I turn back around. Okay. I'm also... like, he clicks his seat like, rude. <laughs> okay. Yes, they are oh. real rubies. However, I will have to come back to you in just a second, okay, sir? <sighs> Fine. And to think, he's finding some He's finding some paper in his face. I would have been so fine with paying for that and so much gold. How much are you talking? Well, how many rubies do you have? Well, do you want the total number or the dif different by sizes? I would say <laughs> well, probably see. about 70 pounds. And I have more than that no, in total. No, he looks no, at you like, no, 70 no. pounds in rubies? Yes. I, oh. I have more than that, actually. This is um, not happening. Jerry. I have 52. Seven, I have... More. <laughs> so if you got a nat Shut 1 up. on perception, uh -uh. just face it. It happened. I know. Actually, I have almost like 150 pounds in rubies. <laughs> oh, 150 pounds. I would love to see them. Well, that's all you're going to get right now is my word. Show me that you can actually pay for them. He pulls out his wallet. Show. And he pulls out a fat stack of paper. Fat stacks. Sir. <laughs> you can you can reasonably assume, Jeremy, that this looks very similar to the 500 bank note that the bar that you know from the bar tried to hand you in exchange for all your rubies. So let me finish the conversation with the guy behind the counter, then I'll get back to you if it doesn't satisfy me. Okay. Okay. You can tell that the guy behind the counter is, like, full-on, in a full-on sweat, crying. Right. And I say to him, I have two other offers, so if you want these, you better offer me the best deal, otherwise I will go okay. somewhere else. I will need to see all of them, and I can give you a lump sum price. Look, don't touch. For well, not... the gentleman in the back. Anyway. Right. I, I just touch. need to, like, appraise them, so that way I get a fair deal. Alright. So, I lay out all my rubies on the counter. There's 15 small ones. No, sorry, 10 small ones, 5 mediums, 2 large, uh, an extra large cut one, a giant ruby, and... <laughs> yeah, he that's kinda, all my rubies. He kind of starts fanning himself rapidly. And with that, we move on. <laughs> oh, what the, oh, come on! Yo! What? We have spent almost an hour on juice, you guys. It's I mean, because Jeremy wouldn't <laughs> shut up! Can I at least sell them and get money? Hold on. Find out next time. Oh. On Divas and Dumbasses. <laughs> Damn it, Jeremy. <laughs> I just wanted to sell my rubies. <laughs>